students in the previous video uh, we have seen the pvt of the lesson water or water we have covered many points in that but we also have to see the textbook part so today we will be see what is given in our textbook about the lesson water or water students we had already seen this poem which almost covers all the part of our lesson that is it tells us about the different states of water that is solid liquid and gaseous state then it also tells us how water is important why we should not waste it and what are the various resources of water where all we need water in our day to day life so we had already seen all these things in the previous video but today we are going to solve various things from the textbook and also read the textbook now do you know any poem or song on water recite it in the class now i will give you it as a homework that you have to sing any one poem or song that you know on water you have to record it in your voice and send it to me on my whatsapp number so this part is a homework for you now going to the next activity which are the places mentioned in the poem where we find water so in the poem there are places called as rivers sea lakes canals etc where we can find the water i will send you the solution part but here in this video we are going to understand why we should write the answer like that so here we can write river sea well yes then lake etc next take the activities for which water is needed so whatever activities we need water we have to give a tick mark in the box so to play not necessarily we need water for playing to write no we do not need water for writing to run a fan no to sing no we do not need water to make tea yes we need water for making tea to paint pictures though in a small amount but we need water for painting to row a boat of course we need water because boat we use for going from one place to another in a river to knead dough yes we all need chapatis so for making the dough of the chapati water is needed you must have seen your mama doing all that to grow plants yes water is a very essential part of plant growth so water is also needed for growth of plants name any four activities which you can do without water now here we can find few activities which we can do without water so i will write here writing okay then play bicycle then talking and what else singing you can write any four other activities also which you can do without water this is just an example let us move to the next part so here you will write those four activities now here we have to write four activities which we cannot do without water cooking we cannot do without water 
जूस और विदाउट वाटर व्हाट वी कैन डू यस बात है मेरी सो इन सच मैनर यू कैन आल्सो थिंक ऑफ योर एक्टिविटीज व्हिच वी कैन नॉट डू विदाउट वाटर वाटर मोर और लेस arrange the following on the basis of the amount of water that is needed for each of the activities begin with the activity that needs the most water what we have to do here arrange yes we have to arrange these activities from the activity which needs most water to the activity which needs very small amount of water now first of all this activity to water the pigs it needs most water so here you will write to water the pigs yes next to bathe this is the second one then to clean the house to clean the house then to knead the dough this can be the fourth one to knead the dough
गंगा रिवर ब्रह्मपुत्र
water. And then you have to write their names as well. Okay? Take a look at the pictures if we fill them with water. Now here there is an exercise. So this is different. Car, boat, bus. 
much train bicycle board is the vehicle mode of transport in water others are road transport so this is the difference in this manner you should be thinking how to solve such kind of questions such kind of questions may come in your exams